Hey guys, I want to introduce you to a really cool new Amazon seller tool that I found. It uses AI, specifically ChatGPT as its engine, to do things like read thousands of Amazon customer reviews for not only one product at a time, but you can actually load up multiple products and evaluate entire niches at once to see what customers like, what customers would love to see improved. It's invaluable data. Really, when customers are reviewing products, not only does that, you know, one to five star rating really help Amazon understand, hey, is this product valuable? Is it something that maybe we should push down the search rankings? But us, you and me, the Amazon sellers with the option of launching a new product in this niche and maybe improving upon existing products, this puts that data, the most valuable data that we could possibly have based on, again, thousands of real customers who purchased our competitors' products, it puts it right in front of us. It also uses ChatGPT to do things like suggest improvements and actually write out the listings for us. So this is an incredibly powerful tool. It's called Shulix, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use it. Let's go. Getting started with Shulix only takes a minute, but before I walk you through how to start, I wanted to recap why it's so powerful. Shulix analyzes customer demographics by reading and allowing us to export all of the reviews. It also lets us search the reviews with keyword searches, and we can easily explore both positives and negatives that the shoppers experienced, giving us a better understanding of the product and if we should sell it or not on Amazon. So follow along. I'm going to show you how to get started using Shulix right now and give yourself a massive edge as an Amazon seller. So Shulix is a Chrome extension that allows us to essentially browse Amazon and tell it what products and niches we're interested in learning more about that when we tell it to learn more, it'll use ChatGPT to essentially scrape all the publicly available information, bundle it together and make it a lot more user friendly for us to digest that information. You want to start by grabbing the Chrome extension. All right, which is a one click installation. Of course, I'll drop a link to it in the description. Once it's installed, you can like come on over here to Amazon and what you'll notice after you do a keyword search, I don't know if you can see this over my head, but Shulix actually inserts itself into the page and you can actually add all of the products from the entire page if you want to, to a collection. This is the easiest way to evaluate the niche as a whole. Otherwise, you can actually just scroll down and you see there is also an add button under each product image. So if you just wanted to add them from the search results page, but select which products. And I honestly recommend doing it this way because I'm sure you guys have browsed Amazon before. You know that when we keyword search, unless it's like very specific keywords, we often will get other products that aren't really what we're looking for mixed into search results, right? So I want to be sure that I'm only looking at data from the exact product that I'm considering selling. So I just went ahead and I added five different listings, basically the top um, five right here into a collection. All right. And you can access your collections by clicking the Chrome extension. You'll see the exercise bands uh, collection is available right here. And this actually took me from Amazon to the Shulix website where we can really drill down into more in-depth information, more on this in a second. But I also wanted to show you uh, if we selected one of the listings here, which I did, um, I did this preemptively just so that we didn't have to wait for it to load because it does take uh, a minute or two at times. It really depends on how many reviews are available on the product. But this is one of the best sellers. It might actually be the best seller. Let's go back and check. Um, it's certainly one of the top selling exercise bands uh, product listings on Amazon. You can see it has 116,000 ratings. Yes, you heard that correctly. 116,000. <laughs> That's why it took a couple minutes now that I think about it for it to process uh, the chat GPT analysis. Now this again, once you have the Chrome extension, this just injects itself at the top of the page. So it's not like there's some trick or memorization required to figure out how to use it. It's that simple. You click once to install the Chrome extension, come to a product listing you want to learn more about or evaluate more in depth. And then you'll see buttons at the top that say chat GPT review analysis and chat GPT listing optimization. Now it is what it sounds like guys. I mean, I hit the chat GPT listing optimization here and you can see it actually revised the feature bullets for us and is giving us suggestions that integrate all of the, um, based on the, you know, again, based on 116,000 
reviews that they analyzed, which I mean, only AI is going to do that unless you really have, you know, a year to read through um, product reviews. It took all of the best tidbits based on the positive customer feedback and addressing the negative feedback, which this is also un operating under the assumption that we're selling basically the same product. We can actually take a step back, all right, and say, hey, I don't even know if I'm going to sell in this niche yet. I'm still making up my mind. That's where the uh, more in-depth you know, report here is actually going to be our friend. But let's say we're already selling in this niche and we just want to improve our listing quality. The chat GPT listing optimization makes it easy. I mean, I can read some of these bullets to you just so you get an idea of how it writes. But chat GPT, if you guys haven't used it yet, I mean, play around with it. It's it's really powerful and it's learning based on, again, all of the data that we just gave it. So all those reviews. So it's it's allowing it to be really powerful. Uh, let's just read the first or like one or two uh, bullets here. So it says versatile workout solution are 12 by two inch heavy duty loop resistance bands come in five varying resistance levels, making them suitable for all fitness levels from beginner to advanced strength trainers. Integrate them with your favorite workout programs or use them for stretching, strength training and more. See, it's already putting in like how to use them. It's integrating a lot of not just single keywords, but phrases that people would type into the search bar. And Amazon's algorithm saying, oh, this listing has those framework, those phrases, those keywords in that sequence in you know the title or the bullets. And you can also consider integrating some of this into your title as well. Uh, the second bullet, convenient and portable. The included carry bag allows you to take your resistance bands with you and work out anywhere, anytime. No need for a gym membership or bulky equipment, just pack and go. So again, showing off all the utility, really doing a great job selling the product for us. And again, that was written by AI guys. That's just by clicking one button, the chat GPT listing optimization. So, so far we installed the Chrome extension. Uh, we signed up for Shulix obviously. And then we went to a product listing and we clicked chat GPT listing optimization. I think we can all handle a couple clicks to get this powerful information at our fingertips. So if we go back to the chat GPT review analysis, we can get a, um, this is a one listing specific review. Now I think personally, the real power of Shulix is in what I was showing you a second ago, where we add, in this case, I only added five ASINs that were indexed when we searched for exercise bands here. You can add as many as you want. I don't know what the max is. I haven't reached the max before, um, but here I added some of the top performing and keep in mind when you add them, the max benefit you're going to get is if they have a lot of reviews, the more reviews, the better. It's like training the AI with more data. Okay. But I did just want to show you if we want to just hone in on one specific listing, we get a AI generated customer profile. We get the pros, we get the cons again, based on real life customer reviews, usage scenarios. You might be like, but Ryan, why does this matter? It's it, this almost sounds like if I'm going to buy this, I need to know the usage scenario. No, as the seller, we want to include these. Well, we may or may not want to, right? Um, you may have overlooked that like people that are recovering from strokes. I mean, who would have thought to put that in here with the exercise bands, but it's saying, Hey, this is a usage scenario. While it's not a predominant one, the fact that it's listed means that that has popped up in the 116,000 reviews. All right. That has popped up at least a few times. So maybe we don't add that. It says 0%. So maybe we just add that as a back end keyword instead of making it show up on the front end because it's not saying that we should assign that much weight to it. It says that we are much better off assigning like home workout, physical therapy, travel workout, right? You guys don't include, uh, you don't bring exercise equipment with you when you travel. I mean, this is perfect. I'm not going to lie. One of my favorite pieces of equipment is a um, portable foam roller. It was like the best gift uh, anybody's ever given to me because my back gets tight when I sit on an airplane. Um, customer expectations, purchase motivations. These are all really useful. Again, this is scoped as just this one listing, just this product right here. Okay. If we go back to the collection we, we formed, okay. And after you form a collection, give it just a couple minutes behind the scenes. The AI is scraping all the information, collecting all the data and then processing it. Uh, it probably took like three or four minutes after I added and created this collection. And again, if you guys forgot, just really quickly, you can create a collection by just clicking the add button. When you click add, it'll ask you what collection you want to add it to, right? And in this case, I can just click exercise bands. Boom, done, that simple. Like they really did a good job making this simple, uh, user-friendly, intuitive, and of course, most importantly, very powerful, right? It's one thing to say, oh, it has AI. It's another to actually like use the AI to present to us useful information, which I mean, like I said, the chat GPT listing optimization, that alone is super cool the single listing analysis. But now let me show you the most powerful part, guys. Now it's looking at all of the listings that we um, included or that we added to this collection. 
and it's giving us insights from all of them across the board. So if we want to break into this niche specifically right now, exercise bands, which of course is going to be a tough one. Let's be honest. <laughs> when you see 116,000 reviews, you know, it's going to be tough. Um, but maybe we can make it better, right? Let's evaluate what is already selling on Amazon and see and it's not just what's already selling, but it's the specific listings that we added, right? If we wanted to add, you know, all of page one, we can do that. It might be a little bit overkill. Maybe not though, right? Um, you can see here the default view. Number one generates us a customer profile. All right. Notice the first thing it says, the consumer group most commonly mentioned is wife. Most, um, the most common moment of use is daily. So it's saying wife's use daily or gift for wife for daily use. You see what I'm saying? It's suggesting phrases that are associated with what people are looking for when they buy this. The most common location is the gym. Most common behavior is working out, focusing on these key characteristics, it's possible to identify pain points. Right, got it. Um, you see the who, wife, husband, son, friend, daughter, when, daily, every day. So it's vacation. So you might be like, okay, well saying daily use, Ryan, that's not that useful. Well, did you overlook that people may bring this with them on vacation? looking for travel exercise equipment. Um, other keywords you need to sprinkle in, gym, in-home gym, gym bag, house, obviously workout here. Now notice the keyword workout actually has some negative reviews associated with it, all right? And that's something that we can drill into later. Uh, but you see primary keywords, the what, this is really the meat of a uh, product listing really when we're addressing what the customer's looking to use this for. Like what, essentially, what problem are they gonna solve by buying our product? It doesn't matter what niche we're selling in, that's always something we wanna be thinking when we are framing our product, not just with the keywords, right? It extends beyond that, It's a lot of it is the images. So you wanna answer these questions or address these with the images too. Workout, travel, stretch, and um, I can't see exactly what the rest of them are. Uh, we can see consumer sentiment. Uh, these are essentially keywords that have ratings associated with them. Uh, in a negative rating, I should say. So cons, right? Band, and you can see some review snippets. It says that the band is not thick enough. It's thin. Roll down. I don't know exactly what that. Oh, maybe it rolls up your legs. It depends on what exercises you're doing. It can be annoying when these exercise bands kind of snap at you or like roll as you uh, stretch them and then they contract a little bit. Does not stay in place. Kind of what I was just saying. Band snap. Obviously, that's not good. And breaks after second day of use or first day of use. So you definitely want to pay attention to, you know, the quality of the band itself. Um, if it's not made with, you know, to be durable, it's going to snap. So those are the cons. Those are the things you really want to address. If you're launching a new product, like you can talk to your supplier and send them these. I wouldn't send them this like actual report. I would wrap it up yourself into a uh, bullet points. Even you could just say bullet points, say, Hey, we did some market analysis. We want to make sure that your product that we're going to source from you and put our brand on it. It's called private label and then sell on Amazon. We want to make sure that, you know, it's quality, that it's going to be made with a thick, durable material that won't snap, that will stay in place when it's used and that won't break after the first day. You see what I did there? I integrated everything. Um, the pros, good quality, no less, or it's durable, good, easy to use, solid. So it's kind of funny that like you get both sides of the, <laughs> of the same story there between the pros and the cons um, in the review analysis. Buyer's motivation. Um, this may or may not, not, not all of these like have to be useful for every single niche, by the way. Okay. So it looks like price is not actually a huge motivation. That looks like it's about 12%. Um, the biggest motivation for this niche, this product specifically is actually recommendations. And they give you snippets over here. After being recommended by my chiropractor, bought these bands because my physical therapist recommended bought these bands for my mom at physical therapy. They recommended these. You see what I'm saying? These are things you can potentially, like in this case, uh, integrate. You know what I mean? You might be able to say like recommended by chiropractors in your listing or in your backend keywords or in your images, right? In your images, you can put text. That, that text doesn't get indexed, but it still doesn't hurt to include um, in your listings to make them better. Customer expectations, long lasting, durable, wider bands. Um, band durable, longer resistance band, wider around. So you see what I'm saying? They're just analyzing, looking at um, repetitive snippets across multiple reviews. When you actually click these, it shows you the reviews uh, associated with that specific keyword. And it actually looks like everybody wants, or not everybody, but a lot of these people want the bands to be longer. So if you're trying to crack into this niche, perhaps look at the lengths of most of your competition, ask your suppliers, hey, can we extend them by two inches, by four inches? And then you've addressed the 
de the demand, you know, the want for customers to have longer versions of the bands. Under the discovery tab, again, more analysis of reviews. Um, you can probably scroll through here for a while. It looks like they break it down into size, um, testing, occasions, the place where you're using it, uh, the consumer themselves, what age are they, gender, other components. Um, these are, again, based on, this is, this is gonna switch between what product and what niches you're looking at. And over here on the last tab, this is all the reviews. You can actually export these reviews as well. Um, there's a download tab right here. I've already done that. So if you're not an Excel person, you're not comfortable in Excel, I would say you can drill down into the reviews right here comfortably in your web browser and they've got a much nicer user interface. I personally like to work in Excel. Um, I used to hate it, but you know, you, you gotta learn to love Excel, honestly, if you're gonna run a business. That's just how I feel. Um, from here, guys, with Excel, I'm sure you're aware, but you can drill down into various columns like ASIN, title, you can look at the content. This is all the reviews, okay? Um, and I, this is actually just for one listing that I have here. I didn't export across multiple. Um, you can see the model, you can see the ratings. So what I typically would do guys is just click into the first row with the column headers, go to the data tab, click filter. Now it applies filters to all them. So if I just wanna look at like the negative reviews, I can unselect. So I click select all, it unchecks everything. Then I can just go to the one stars, click okay. Now I'm only looking at the one star reviews. And honestly, you can just pretty quickly um, look at the title column right here. All right. And what you could even do is say like, how often are these breaking? Well, you can go here and say text filters. You can say contains and you could say contains broke and just kind of look immediately broke, broke during first use, broke, broke and scared my dog. Band does not hold up, broke after four uses. Two bands snap on me and broke. See what I'm saying, guys? Like there's so much, there's so much you can do with this data. Um, it's truly, it's like an unfair advantage that we can use ChatGPT, the most popular, dare I say, maybe even the most powerful AI to not only assist us in enhancing our listings by writing content for us based on looking at, you know, customer reviews across the board, across the entire niche, but then give us like actionable insights in a user-friendly user interface um, to help us like hone in on, and I, I've, I've kind of, I just realized, I've only been talking in scope of creating product listings or planning out what our product is gonna do. Keep in mind that like, you can use these insights to feed into your ad campaigns, guys, to run more effective Amazon ads. Don't overlook the importance of that as well. So guys, the tool is called Shulix. It's incredibly powerful. You don't need to take me at my word. You can use it right now. They gave me a 20% off code as well. I'm gonna include that in the description. Get started. Like, I, I, I don't think you're gonna be disappointed. If you are, let me know. But like, I really enjoyed using it so far. I'm actually gonna run it on um, my girlfriend, Marielle, her dog ice cream. I'm gonna use it on that niche and see what kind of insights it gives me. I'm gonna do that as soon as I start record or stop recording this video. Um, so check it out, guys. Uh, on your way out too, if you wanna hit the like and subscribe button, that would be very much appreciated. And I'll see you guys at the next one.